All right, hey everyone, we are going to walk through the process for getting your cryptocurrency transactions and trades into TurboTax so that you can file them with your taxes easily. Okay, so we're going to quickly just start out by jumping into TurboTax online. So you can see I'm just going to sign in to my profile here. And keep in mind, when you first sign in to TurboTax, it will take you through some initial prompts, right, to just get your personal information. And I don't think you can skip around um, when you first sign in. But because I've already kind of built out my profile within the app, I can jump around. So we're going to jump around to the cryptocurrency section. And to get there, you simply go to the Federal tab, Wages and Income, and then you're going to go down to the cryptocurrency section. So let's get into the cryptocurrency and it's going to prompt you, did you sell or trade cryptocurrency you know, during the year? And did you participate in any of these items which would qualify you um, to have to report it on your tax return? So here we're going to say, yes, I did. Let's say I exchanged one cryptocurrency for another on Binance. Yes. And then I'm going to select my provider, right? So I'm using CryptoTrader.tax to aggregate all of my cryptocurrency data. And I'm going to go ahead into continue. All right, so let's add your cryptocurrency transactions. So let's say I haven't actually built out my profile yet. I would simply go into CryptoTrader.tax, right, and build out my entire tax profile and get my gains and losses across all of my different exchanges, right? And you can see it's a simple process for getting all that data. This is something that TurboTax can't handle themselves, which is why they partnered up with a bunch of these companies. As you can see, I've already done this in CryptoTrader.tax. So I'm just going to go and view my report, which breaks down my capital gains and losses on my cryptocurrency transactions. Here we're in the tax season 2018. So to do the TurboTax side of things, I'm going to simply grab the TurboTax online CSV file that CryptoTrader.tax exports. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and download that file. And you can see that it also brings me to TurboTax online, but because we're already in, this doesn't really matter. But you can see it just downloaded right there into my downloads folder. So you can see, and I've done this a number of times already, but you can see it just downloaded. So that's where that CSV file now is. So jumping back into TurboTax, let's browse and let's import that file just with a click of a button. And you can see upload your crypto CSV, bam, success. We've got all the transactions from your CSV file. Perfect. Let's continue. Tell us which of these transactions are taxable. That's easy. CryptoTrader.tax only exports and reports your taxable transactions. So we can simply select all and then hit continue once again. And now here's a summary. You can see each and every trade, the proceeds, the cost basis of the trades, and this should align with what you see in CryptoTrader.tax. Now because this was kind of a dummy account, my cost basis are all zero, but these will be actual numbers when you do it. So let's click continue again, and you'll see, there you go, here's a summary of your cryptocurrency sales. Now this will get included with your tax return that TurboTax files on your behalf. So that's really it. It's really as easy as that. Um, I'll link some more resources if you want to learn more about the cryptocurrency tax problem and why it exists um, into the video description below. But other than that, feel free to reach out with any questions that you might have. Happy to answer them. Take care.